Hi there, Linda Lepotka here. So today I'm making Mother's Day cards using those trucks that I made and making more doilies and some flowers that I had. So I'll show you how I did that. But first I wanna show you what I ordered from an Etsy shop. Isn't this cool? Oh, you can't see it. So this holds the ink and I can just, you know, put the lid in there and put this like this and ink away. And then it holds my glue. And I, I even asked Corey to, told her that I had this kind of dauber and she made this just a little bigger. And it also holds my glue, which is, this is for my pin. That's what you're seeing there, but isn't that cool? And so I got that from Corey. And um, this is a little note from her that just says, you know, she does her shop to earn money for books for her classroom, which I think is like so cool. And I will put the information down below at the end of my video on her uh, Etsy shop. I don't have that right in front of me right now, even though I should. I'm gonna cover that up because I'm not using that ink for this card. All right, so what I'm doing for this card, I'm gonna make sure I didn't get any ink on my fingers because that's one of the tricks I do. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm using um, the Spellbinders die for this doily, and I inked it up with um, some of this Distress Ink, Kirsch Flamingo. Why do they make things so hard? Okay, so I was using this dauber and just a piece of paper and just you know, going around it just, just so it shows up when it was white on the paper I'm using, it just kind of disappeared. Anyway, so then this piece of cardstock is really nice cardstock from um, Amuse. I love their cardstock. And I'm going to use that as a base. Then I don't I won't be putting an extra piece of paper in this one because I can stamp right in it. All right, so then I'm going to put a doily on here. And this one, I stitched some ribbon and lace on here on this piece of cardstock before I put the doily on. I think I'm going to put the doily on. No, I want to put the doily on here first and then stitch the lace on it. And I have a piece of ribbon and I just thought that ribbon was too heavy. So I added, I'm i gonna add a little piece of lace to it just to kind of tone it down a little bit. So first I wanna get this on and I'm gonna not put any glue at the bottom where I'm gonna be sewing. So let's get this guy on there. So I hope everybody's having a great day. It's beautiful outside today. It's really nice and sunny. And the weatherman said, oh, it's gonna be so much warmer today. And it looks warmer. And you know, the temperature might get in the 50s, which would be good, maybe even 60. But he said there's gonna be less wind. And I don't know about that. I'm hearing wind like crazy. So I don't know. We'll see. And I talk about that only because of me taking a walk today. All right, so I'm going to put this on here and this on top of it and use a couple of my clips to hold it. And then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. So let's see. I gotta get it on there just right. I mean, it would be easy to glue it, but I don't know. I just think the stitching looks kinda nice. Let's make sure we have it at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch at the top. So I could put a little bit of glue here just to keep things in place. And I have it a little bit bigger so that I can see how you can, you can see the glue through there. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put this on top. Let's see, is that straight? No, that's why I put the glue on there. 
so I could get it nice and straight on the back. All right, and the lace. And I got this really nice Mother's Day set from Simon Says Stamps. And that's what I'm going to be using for it. Oh, you can't see it, can you, because of the glare. Let's see, i I take that off? No. <laughs> Sorry, that's not working, but it's from Simon Says Stamps. Let's see. Here's the number, SSS 202340C. But it's got some really cool sayings. And I'm going to use this one that says, Happy Mother's Day to the beautiful woman who gave me life, showed me how to love unconditionally, and empowered me to be the person I am today. I think that's pretty nice saying. All right, so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. I got to clip it down, don't I? I just want to use some of the things that I've made in the past. So I've made those trucks and I've made those flowers and I cannot for the life of me remember how I made those flowers. I, I think I made them for another card and thought, oh, like a year ago, oh, I can, you know, make extra. And it might be um, a cut from Silhouette. Or it could be a cut, you know, it could be a die, but I don't think it's a die. I looked through all my dies. I was hoping it was a punch, but <laughs> it's not a punch. Punch would be easy. Okay, so I'm going to sew that. I have this ready. I just stamped Happy Mother's Day, and that's from that Simon Says stamp set. And that's something else I need to ink. So I'm going to ink that. This pretty pink. I am not a pink person. <laughs> I don't know why. I have friends that have said when I've worn pink that it looks good on me, but I don't know. It's just not one of my favorite colors. But now I have all these pink trucks. So, <laughs> yeah. okay. Mother's Day. And I wonder where all that got started. The pink was girls. It's kind of crazy. There we go. So that's made. All right, let me get this set. So I got that on there. I'm just going to trim it off here. And then... The next part, I think I'll put it on here. So I'm wondering if you all have plans for Mother's Day. I used to, Mother's Day used to be the day I would go to the flower place and buy flowers and plant them in the garden but i don't have a garden anymore and i'm having a hard time deciding do i want to even buy flowers this year for my deck because i'm i'm going so much you know like or i go up to the cabin and stuff so it's i don't know i don't know what to do so see how um I glued the tires on like that. I showed you that the other day. This silver on this one is from a milk container. I get nut, I buy nut milk and um, oh, let's see, macadamia nut, cashew nut, and almond, different milks. And they come in those carton things now. And really, I feel so bad about it because those are so not biodegradable that I have, um, when I taught school, there was a man that was, I don't know, an ecologist or something who came and spoke about, you know, ecology in April. 
when a, a person I had come speak to the kids, and he was telling them that those juice boxes are the worst thing for the environment because there's so many layers to them. They don't break down. And now this so supposedly healthy milk for us, that seems kind of big. Oh, it's okay. Um, supposedly healthy milk for us comes in these really bad containers. Anyway, so I tried to take one apart one day just to, I don't know, to kind of help it break down. And that one layer that's close to the milk is this silver paper. And so I thought, oh, well, maybe I can craft with that. So <laughs> I took it off and tried to use a little bit of it. Um, it doesn't come off the other parts very easily. So there's that foil part, there's a cardboard part, there's a wax part, there's all these different parts. And, you know, some of them might break down, but they just are not good for the environment. And it kind of bugs me because I really wanna, I really try to be conscious of helping the environment. Okay, so then I'm going to put this one on here. I don't know if I like that one so much. It's got kind of a gluey mess. I wish I could remember where, <laughs> what I used to make this with. I think that's the way it's got to go. So if anybody knows anything about those cartons and a good way to recycle them, I would like to know because I really like the milk. I love the fact that I can leave it on a shelf until I'm ready to use it. It doesn't have to be refrigerated until you open it. That I think is just great, but I don't know. I just think that's cute, don't you? All right, and then on the inside, I'm going to stamp this stamp that says, Happy Mother's Day to the beautiful woman who, let's see, where's my ink, who gave me life, showed me how to love unconditionally, and empowered me to be the person I am. My... <laughs> um, Memento ink still has not showed up, so I'm using the Gina K. And I, when I first, I stamped it a couple times before I got a good impression, and I think it's because it was never used before. And this is a Simon Says stamp, but I've watched Gina K where she says, you know, the new stamps, you might want to rub them because there might be something on them. So see, that didn't come out so good. So I gotta get it so it's inked up good enough before I put it on there. That's better. All right, well, let's hope it works. Make sure I get enough ink. Maybe that's drying out. I don't know. All right, so I don't have it in my misty, so I have to careful okay hopefully that's good and i didn't work out there that's good all right so that is my mother's day card i might take let's see there are some pr other pretty things on here um wonder Ooh. That stamp set is so pretty. I wonder if I should put this on here. Oh, that'll cover up my my words. Just looks so blank, doesn't it? But, you know, these are for the shop, so maybe someone would write in it. But anyway, that's my Mother's Day card. This is my cool new holder from Corey. She's selling these, and like I said, she, the money she earns from these, she uses to buy books for a classroom, which is very wonderful. Um, one, under the, one other thing I'm working on today. So I was using BookPage, and you'll see that 
video when I can show it. I can't show it yet. And um, this is really old book page that's very, very brittle. And I took um, E6000 spray glue and glued a couple sheets together. And then today I um, printed off some of these really cool birds from Graphic Fairy because a friend of mine sent me a video that was really, or not a video, a picture that she found on Facebook of um, something that looked like this. So I thought I would make some. Let me just show you what I was doing. Okay, here it is. It's looking for my Mod Podge. So I'm just taking this, you know, I was making envelopes. I guess I can tell you that much out of book page that I glued together because I saw Steffi do it <laughs> at Coffee, Paper, Scissors. And um, so this is something that she, sh a friend sent me in an email today that she saw on Facebook. And, and this isn't what they did. It was something about Maj Paj but, and book page, but I don't think they did vellum. So this is some vellum with that I printed, like I said, from Graphic Fairy. And so I'm just gonna put that on there. And I'm loving this brush from I Crafty Irina. Thank you, Crafty Irina. Irina. <laughs> so I'm just putting that on there like that. And then it's gotta dry. I have some already on a page that have um, dried. And then I'm just taking my stamp scissors and cutting them out like this oh I just think they're so cool oh they'd be just a nice embellishment on anything in a book I bought the premium membership to Graphic Fairy and oh my goodness there's classes that I didn't know about that I should be taking advantage of. So now I'm going to use my vintage photo and just go around it like this. Isn't that, I just think they're so cool and I could um, take, I have this like canceled stamp right here. Let's see. Put the lid on this before I forget. These are the spring flowers from the graphic uh, fairy. Did I say graphic fairy before? I often say 45 and that's not right. It's graphic fairy. Um, so I, I typed in spring birds and that's what I got. I want to make sure I put this right side up. So I could just put that little stamp on there. Now it looks like a canceled stamp. Isn't that cool? I just love this. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Making little embellishments and making some Mother's Day card. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.